I'm Alison Lim. I'm Jamie, and I am Alison's daughter. My dementia journey started probably 20 years back when we were in a Mexican restaurant in London. I called a waiter to ask for more Guatemala, and he was so shocked. Yeah, I even had to tell you that, hey, mum, you just said Guatemala, not guacamole. The whole trip, I had many more words that came out really strangely. But then a few years later, I was saying things like, put the table on the plate, or put the car in the key. And one day, I, I cannot call your name. Yeah. And, and that was... <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was so relieved when I got the diagnosis, because now I finally can understand what's happening with my speech and all these funny words going around. I'm special, I'm so unique. I have um, PPA, which is primary progressive aphasia, a very unique type of uh, dementia, which affects word finding. You know, I was only 58. Mm. And I was told we, I will have five to eight years. When we left the clinic right outside there, I... <laughs> that was so scary. I think I almost just wiped it from my memory because it was such a, a shock to be there, you know? Yeah. In my mind, I was thinking like, okay, now I have to do something, but I had no idea what to do. All I was doing was worrying. So it was true, I wasn't doing anything. And I felt, I've felt really bad about that since then. And I'm just really grateful that it hasn't gotten to a point where I'm too late. I think the earliest thing that I did was just to bring back a game that I played with friends. And because it was a game that involved thinking of words, it turned out that you know, it was a really good game to play. We enjoyed it and that really changed everything. The most important thing for me, and she must know, is still her. My mind was, no, I have to know more. So what I did was, I went to research even more um, about my type of dementia. And also working with researchers on how it's affecting me. And I was able to find different ways of working with my type of dementia in putting emotions into bringing back the words. For example, the stove, and, and I wrote, uh, Jamie burnt her hand on the stove when she was three years old, and I felt so much pain. Then I remember the word stove. Now that I understand my dementia better, I have a lot of fun with it, I find different ways of working with it, and then I dance and I sing. Today, I still have many of such issues, but I also have a different attitude towards uh, my issue because instead of crying or instead of getting angry with myself, I now laugh. I now know why I have dementia. <laughs> it gives me a chance to meet really wonderful people and also to be able to, 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 to do different things. To me, I have a wonderful journey. <laughs> it sounds crazy. but No, I think that's the only way to, um, to go about it. Yeah, it is there. So I want to be a partner to my dementia as well and, and enjoy the journey together.